Hello everybody, this is Roger Hansen with Touch Tricks Tips Reviews Unboxed. Today I'll be showing you about um, micro SD cards and installing them into an iPad mini lollipop as well as a camera. Uh, the camera. This is the video or the SD card and when we bought it we got two of them. It's a sand disk. The SD cards came w with an adapter, just one adapter, so that you could use it for a bigger device. I'm guessing this is my first time using an uh, SD card, so or for this size at least. So I'm just putting it together and everything, but that. You basically just slide it in like this, and it's good to go for whatever device that fits. Like I said, I don't know what that goes to, but it's pretty neat. Um, the camera that we'll be installing it into is an SJ4000 HD 1080 pixel waterproof camera, 2.0 inch camcorder sports DV go car cam pro so now I start installing the SD cards and before we do I want to give you a better view this is using the camera that I just uh, told you about and if you notice the other video before that was off of my iPad mini lollipop this is off the camcorder and you can or yeah the the camera and you can see the difference there is a difference um, that's the micro SD card and I also am going first to first I'm going to put it in to the um, iPad mini I have the iPad mini also hooked up to my Google Chrome cast so that I can show you the screen that way you can see a little bit better what's going on um, now whenever I put the SD card in it goes into the back um, I also have a video of setting this up with the computer and I'm gonna start showing you what the process looks like on the computer early I had to speed it up but this is the opening there but when I do it I want to show you guys what it looks like on the computer when you set it up and right here on the edge right there there's a little slot in the side and that's where you need to put your SD card now when I did it this time I did it right and it clicked like it was supposed to but I have to warn you guys if you gotta make sure this card clicks when you set it in there because when you do it'll give you that notification and at some point I took the card out and put it back in and I didn't look for that notification and it didn't work right because I didn't click it in now I had issues with that because on the internet I like to get on the iPad mini and I play Magic 2015 and I wanted to record it and since I didn't do that, I the the game didn't recognize the SD card, so I had to finally, I think a day or two ago, I finally went in and I put the SD card in there right. And another thing too is mounting the SD card. You have to go into the settings and you have to mount it. So remember to go into your settings and mount the SD card. Um, but I got it straightened out. Now this is the camera, and we paid about $28 for this, and it's pretty good, so um, the reason why I like it is because on the back side it has a monitor to where you can actually look at it and see what you're aiming at, which I didn't have with the iPad mini, and believe it or not, it's actually a lifesaver when you have it. 
and uh, this is where I put it in on the side you have to take the SD card and put it in the side and when you put it in there you have to move your finger around and wait for it to click like on the iPad mini too and this one's more trickier so you're going to have to move your finger around and you're going to have to fill it and then when you fill it click it'll stay in there and on this type of camera it'll do like that it has that blue block there it's, it says the card's not in so I had to move my finger around and get it to click and it disappeared there and, but it reappeared and that's because it wasn't clicking and I ended up finally getting it to where it does click and as you do it more and more you'll get better at it but as you can see I worked there to get it done and like I said the thing I like about that is the fact that you have that monitor but it's a pan it's monotonous doing that but it's worth it and uh, another thing that I had an issue with is the audio now with the audio if you're sitting up next to it then it's fine but it it's not really all that great if you're like standing in front of it and everything I wouldn't say I would say something about it if I didn't use audacity but I use audacity so I can adjust the audio now when you go to install it into your computer all you do is you plug in your USB cord on one side I'm sorry for the darkness there is light in the room it's just the camera isn't really picking up too well it's a halogen uh, light it's one of the old-fashioned ones the other side you just plug it into the iPad and now I've got the setup going on the other side to show you what processes I had to go through first I sync the iPad and right there with the Windows Media Player and then after that I turned around and uh, transferred the videos file and everything um, sorry it didn't do that great of a job at showing all that on um, the smaller video I it does show a little bit though on the other side and on the iPad it doesn't show anything at all it's just basically there you can just sit it down and let it wait until you're done and that's the notification there that I had to do it asks you if you want to export or import pictures and videos using Windows I use the camera symbol um, it also asks you if you want to import pictures using a photo gallery and sync digital media files and open device to view files I just use the camera for that I also use it to open uh, my external hard drive but that's about it um, then after that like I said I just sit it down and I wait and um, it basically works out pretty good on that one I hear lately I've been having issues since I started using my iPad mini with everything and the camera now it's installing the in the smaller uh, video off to the left it's installing the drives for the camera and this is a better view of it downloading or uh, transferring videos and everything from the iPad over here on the left side that took me a while I had to speed this video up because it would have been 45 minutes of video footage now this is the camera and wanted to give you a different view with the iPad to show you the difference in lighting um, I've got it this you set it all up wire wise the same way with the camera like you do with the iPad over here I had to manually do my videos off of the camera the first time and I'll tell you I had to do it the first time but after that the auto run did actually work so I had no problem with it um, the only thing I had an issue with and I'm still having an issue is my external hard drive um, things are going wacky and I have to go through here and check it all out and get it all straight but that's basically the extent of it you know 
and I had to sit and wait for everything to finish and it shows the symbol of the USB it shows that it works and from that point on I had to wait <laughs>